What's going on, world? You are tuned in to I Got Issues, and I am Jay Denham, the Lone Wolf. You can check me out or follow me on Instagram, or if you want, you can subscribe, comment below. Hey, do both. Uh, some of my friends call me JFK, or also Donna, alias of Mr. Negative. For those of you that do or don't know, this is what we call a variant cover, meaning a variation. I'm going to give you guys a quick example, meaning it's not the regular cover, it's a variant. This is what we call a negative variant. So hopefully you get the picture. Uh, I do collect negative variants. Uh, I'm also a person that's very, very opinionated. So, you know, if Obama was in here, you know, I have no issue talking to him. If you check me out or follow a few of my, my previous videos, uh, I'm a very vocal person. And sometimes there's pros and there's cons to that. It's a good thing sometimes. And, you know, I don't really agree usually with the masses. And I have my own opinion. Like I said, I'm very vocal. And some people are just like, you're really negative. You have a real negative outlook on things. So, as you can see, like I said, negative variant and a variant. Meaning, not the regular coverage. So, of course, not regular, but regular variant, negative variant. So, I own everything symbiotic related that is a negative variant uh, that I know to date. So, for that reason and a few others, I am also called Mr. Negative. Speaking of which, the content of, the, of this box right here, the contents, man, the. To me, personally, some of these are gems. To some people, you know, maybe not. But what I shoot for, again, like I said, I do not usually agree with the masses. Uh, I'm usually against the tide sometimes. Sometimes I'm with it. But for the most part, it's just how I've always been. Uh, some of the things that have in here is literally less than a handful. Some of them there actually is a handful. But I mean, not just me. I mean, all across the world, throughout anybody on census. And if you guys do not know what a census is, you can pull it up. Uh, an example is like how many people owned... Uh, a Porsche 911 Carrera in 1989. So a census would have a whole entire list of every person that's ever owned a Porsche 911 Carrera from 1989. So a census is pretty much like a library full of documentation or just a list of names, you know, of individuals or just items. You know, it's not always an individual. So these right here, oh man, I'm not even gonna hold you guys up because I don't want to be held up anymore. I waited a little while, actually not too, too long. I spent the extra money, I was like, Screw it, I'm just doing it. Paid for fast tracking. Um, whenever you submit books in, as you, as you guys can see, these are raw, that's, that's a raw book. It's what we call raw. It's just, I keep it protected, but it's raw. You know, like it's, it's, it's raw. Uh, whenever you submit a book, you send it in to be capsulized, and that right now is what I'm about to show you guys. Uh, and actually this right here is one of the things that, the big things that increases the market to where people are buying and reselling and buying and reselling. That's not my field and my margin of things to do, but it's great to have value, you know, and, and add value to your life and the things that you collect. So let's get to it. See that gangrene, trusted gangrene blade I got right here. Oh man, I'm excited to get to these, man. Like I said, I've waited a little while. Like I said, I paid for the, for the additional fast time and shipping. From what I was told, it literally cuts the time down in half. So I'd probably be waiting maybe two, two and a half months for something like this, as opposed to, you know, a few weeks, maybe close to a month. Let's get to it. Oh man, um, it, 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 this looks great too. Uh, from what I know, whenever I look this up, there's only 14 of these total, meaning not just me, not people in it that you know at work, no. So like 14 people total have one of these. This right here, is an amazing Spider-Man 792. Some of y'all looking like, hang on, wait, wait a minute. This guy's it's a beautiful cover, great artwork. And when this cover was initially previewed, my guy down here, Mr. Agent Anti-Venom, was actually blacked out because the character wasn't revealed at that time frame. So when we finally did get a glimpse of him, this right here is his second print. The first print is actually black up here on the book, World's Blue. But I also felt like getting this graded, like it would just look beautiful. It would match with the label. So the blue label, as you see, the top outer border of the book, blue, second print, 14 of these on earth. Uh, from what I know, it's crazy because uh, I did a video before speaking that uh, I lived up the street actually a couple blocks from where I'm at now uh, on East 11th Avenue. There was 11 of these, 11 of these. This makes 12. So prior to me doing this, there was 13. So, but there's 11 nine eights. This is 12. So that's my first one. I'm very, very proud about that. Beautiful artwork again by Alex Ross. Uh, as you guys can see, that by the, the negative book I showed you guys, which is actually done by Mark Bagley. 
It's crazy because the same guy that actually did the artwork for my shirt. But uh, this is a cover done by Alex Ross. Also, Venom cover, very symbiotic kind of guy, if you guys can tell. Uh, but beautiful, beautiful artwork. I'm crazy, crazy happy about that. Uh, man, uh, let's, get, let's, let's keep it rolling, man. I'm a little hype about this. And this right here, this is, this is everything. This is, this is one of the things that, that distinctively sets you apart from anybody, from anywhere. When you do something like this, and there hits the name of which I don Mr. Negative. This right here, of course, as you see, is an issue one, but I am the second person on earth in the entire census when you pull it up out of the thousands, if not possibly millions of books that they graded, there's only two of these on census. There's only two. So when this book came out over 10 years ago, this book came out in 2009. So I am the second person to own one of these. Again, I can't make these numbers up. You can go to CGC, you can pull up the census, type in the title and see for yourself. I am the second person to have a, not even just a 9-8. The, the, there's only two graded, like period, period. There's only two graded. So for both to be 9-8 is great, but you're seeing one of them right here. And unfortunately, you know where the other one's at. If you don't, for you guys that's out here, you guys are new, if I'm getting you guys in, I'm reeling you in a little bit, it's fine. But in the comic realm, it's something that we call FIDE. Uh, it's for a lot of guys, they milk the market, and some of these guys get away with it, man. They set these crazy, ridiculous price tags for books. The other copy that's graded, that's a 9.8, the only other one on earth, is on eBay. So if you want to go pay 300 and whatever the hell dude was asking for it, good luck to you. Of course, I did my background check before I submitted this book to wait weeks and weeks to get it. But I'm extremely happy about that. It came back in 9-8. Uh, let's get into that. Oh, man. <laughs> Again, and what I'm showing you guys is just clearly just some of my interest. Clearly just, this is beautiful, man. This is a Vampirella negative variant. Beautiful, man. You know, women, Mr. Negative, symbiotic stuff. You, you see where I'm getting at here. Negative. So, but this is a 9-8. Again, made grade uh, for you guys that do what you don't know. Uh, 9.8 is one of the highest possible grades you can get whenever you submit a book in to get capsulized, which is what we call graded. Uh, you can have uh, a long box, like a box like this from here to here, full of the exact same book, and none of them will come back at 10. I'm I've talked to people, people have told you hardly ever, ever see a perfect 10 because, again, we're talking about paper. You know, some paper comes out, comes off the printer with defects. So, um, yeah, I'm happy about this one. This one also made great. This came out a 9.8. I'm thankful for that. So from what I know, um, I believe there's 50, 51 of these complete, like in general, completely that's graded on census, the negative version, because there's other versions of this as well. Uh, I believe I own all of them, but I don't have all of them graded. I have this and I have a blood version that they call uh, a blood, blood ink version. It's red. It's all red and white. I had that signed and graded a couple years back. It actually, it made great. I was happy about that. But uh, there's 51 of these actual particular versions and I just thought it would look great with a blue label because it's a negative. You see kind of like blue highlights on it. Um, and I believe 15 are actually yellow labels. So there's 14 of these just like this. The same book, made great, 9, 8, 14. This makes 15, because include mine. This makes 15. So there's 15 of these blue labels. That's 9, 8. And then there's 15 yellow label. 9-8s, which means they were signed. This version was signed. And then the other ones fall into whatever other category that did not make grade. They were graded, but they didn't they didn't come this high, baby. They wasn't 9-8s. So 51 of these total. Uh, and I am the 15th to add this to their collection. I'm uh, very, very proud about that as well. And the grand finale. I did not Royal Flush. And when I say Royal Flush, it means when you submit all your books in, and it's just, it's like a home run. It's like a hit. You win. Everything you got came back straight 9-8. You, you royal flushed it. That's what I personally call it. I sadly did not royal flush. I looked at my grades online and this book right here prevented that. But this book, before I display it, this book makes me not only the highest holder of this book, but I know some of these numbers are like, what, really? Again, I can't make these numbers up, people. You can go cross-reference it, check it yourself. I can't, you know, tell CDC, hey, put these numbers in. These are the actual numbers. This is this is a true story. This is reality. This is the third one of these on Earth. The third one since 1998. <laughs> this book came out in 1998. There's only three of these, and this is the highest one graded. Boom. This right here is a spawn book that 
There's actually another version of it. It's a black and white version. I'll also own it. It's one of the rarest Spawn books to get out there. Crazy thing is, in reality, like the realm that we all live in, reality, it also came back a 9-6. What are my chances with that? And I have two of those. I had one graded and one that I knew wouldn't make grade. And if you checked out my last videos, maybe you have, maybe you haven't, you probably should. You'll see that I tell people if you can do it once, do it twice. Keep doing it. So the odd thing about that black and white version is I have a raw version. It's not going to make great. Cool. Extremely rare. A lot of people don't even know about this exact version. The black and white, more people know about. This one, also graded 9.6. But again, there's only three on census. There's a 9.6, which is mine. There's a 9.4, which is the point below this. And then, believe it or not, there's a 6.5. So, which means there's a horrible, horrible condition when somewhere out there, however long ago. Again, the book came out in 1998. There's only three of them. So, you keep that in mind. It's like, man. But again, I'm not here for the coin. You know, the rarity is everything. And again, just whatever floats your boat. Don't be like everybody else. You know, do things that, that literally particularly interest you. You know, sometimes I do fall in the categories like, oh, like I said, you might recognize me. You might not. Uh, oh, you do Jordans. You like certain sneakers. Like, that's kind of, you know, put out to the masses. Books like this. Uh, to me, rarity is key and sometimes just finding yourself, man. So as you can see, I love Spawn. I grew up off of Spawn. Uh, them, there are only being three of these. I was like, wow. Uh, two prior to this. I was like, wow, man. Women, <laughs> naturally. I'm a guy. So, you know, we're all into what we're into. Beautiful women. This is beautifully well done. Uh, the artist is J. Scott Campbell. If you don't know J. Scott Campbell, beautiful work. Very, very well done. 51 of these. Uh, only 15, including this one. Blue label, 9 8, so only 15 of these technically. Uh, 15 yellow labels as well, and the rest, like I said, didn't make great. Only two of these. I'm extremely happy about it, Mr. Negative, hence the name that I don't. Mr. Negative, again, clearly you know that I'm interested, I'm into it. And then I'm a symbiotic collector, man. I'm one of the symbiotes elite. I was one of the very first, and boom, there she is. There she is, only 14 of these total on census. 11 prior to this. This is the 12, 9.8 of this book. So I'm very, very happy with this for the most part. For the most part. I didn't want to flush, but I guess as they say, you know, try, try again. So I got so many books, man. I'm literally looking at a little over 21 boxes of books, just me personally, just my collection of what I own. Um, not counting CGC books. So this is the one of the first unboxings. Uh, that I'm going to just continue doing. I'm going to do, be doing a series of these, hopefully. So you guys stay tuned, and thanks for tuning in. I got issues. Clearly, you see why. So tune in to the next one. i catch you guys then.